Lewis in Long Island, New York. He writes to me, hey, Paul. Hey, Lewis. Hope you are well and thank you for all those informative videos you make. They are appreciated and make me feel like I actually know something. <laughs> well, you are certainly welcome, my friend. If a speaker is rated at 100 watts and it's 4 ohms, and I hook up a 100 watt into 8 ohm amp that doubles to 200 into 4 ohm, is that too much power for the speaker? So, when a speaker manufacturer says that their speaker can handle up to 100 watts and is 4 ohms, do I look for an amp that has no more than 100 watts into 4 ohms? That is confusing when speaker manufacturers don't specify how many watts their speaker can safely take into 8 and 4, at least for us uninformed individuals. Yeah, I understand. That is a constant question. I've probably answered this five or six times, and we're going to keep doing it because, as I've said before, every time I answer it, I answer it a little bit differently and, and to a different group of people. So. We'll keep working on it to where we break through and, and get some understanding. The quick answer is no, you're not going to damage your speaker. But there are multiple ways to answer questions. There is the literal way, meaning could a 200 watt amplifier possibly damage a speaker that can only handle 100 watts? Yes. But that's kind of like asking, if I hold a bottle of poison in my hand and I'm going to try and kill some ants with it, is that dangerous? Well, in a literal sense, yeah, if I drank it. But I'm probably not going to do that. And in the same way, if you have a speaker that's rated at 100 watts and you have an amplifier that's rated at 200 watts, you are likely never going to damage that speaker because you're never going to play it that loud. You just aren't. In the same way, you're not going to drink the ant poison because you're not an idiot. You're not going to play the speaker so loud that it damages it because you're also not an idiot, right? And you don't want to be deaf. <laughs> So, here's another example. We make a 1200 watt power amplifier and people hook it up to speakers that have 100 watt, 200 watt capability all day long. Do they ever damage their speaker? No. Why? Well, because from a gain standpoint, the amount of watts, in, in other words, by gain, I mean when you put something in, let's say one volt into the amplifier, you're going to get X amount out. And let's say that X amount is 30 volts. All right. So one volt in, 30 volts out. That gain of 1 to 30, which is a 30 times gain, is the same on a 1200 watt amp as it is on a 100 watt amp. Okay? It's not like the 1200 watt amp is going to put out more than 30 it's going to put out exactly 30. It just means that when I put out 30, I have much more headroom that is available to me, but it doesn't mean I'm going to use it. In fact, I won't use it. We get bigger amps hooked up to give us headroom, to give us dynamics, but no, there's no problem in putting a bigger amp on a smaller wattage speaker as long as you're not determined to destroy it and yourself at the same time. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Hope that helps.